Hi, welcome. We're going to be playing some Outpost Infinity Siege. Yes, this game is intriguing to me because apparently it is a collaboration, a conglomeration. It is a, a, a empire state building giant that of different genres. We've got a looter shooter, we've got a tower defense, and we've got some base building stuff. So it's just everything that I like about complicated video games that are poorly explained, by the way. I, I, I tend to be attracted to poorly explained complicated video games. So this game is $25 on Steam. It's got some mixed reviews. Apparently, according to the community, it has some rough patches at launch, but apparently the developers are updating it, you know, improving things and uh, making things a little bit better. So I'm gonna be doing the very beginnings of it. You're gonna watch some footage from tonight's stream, the very beginnings of it, which uh, I've been told is the worst parts of the game. So I set my expectations accordingly. So I wasn't disappointed per se, but I, I guess overall I would say that my expectations were met, that the beginning was indeed rough. You be the judge, let me know in the comments. Tell me if you like this kind of content. We're gonna be doing more streams of this and I'll be giving you guys some summaries here on YouTube on what my thoughts are on Outpost Infinity Siege. Enjoy. Right, here we go. This is Outpost Infinity Siege and uh, it is made by Team Ranger. It is a conglomeration of genres. This is the United Federation of Genres. And you know this game's gonna be good when the story sucks as bad. When you got a game with this many mechanics and the story is bad, it gives you confidence that everything else is good. I guess it's the Warframe factor. I don't know what it is. Warframe tainted me, chat. Because for years, Warframe story was non-existent. It was like, you are Tenno. Hello. Weapon. Go. Tenno. Get it, Clem. And you, just, you just didn't know what was going on. Hold to skip. No, I want to hear this great voice acting. Let's was. All right, we're already at 50 FPS. <laughs> It doesn't look that bad. This is an Unreal 5 game, I think. And one of the things that attracted me to this game is I love the art. And I'm really happy with how this looks right now. This is some ghost in the shell looking stuff. And this tickles my anime funny bone. <laughs> All right, we're steady 60, that's good. So that means that when it gets tough, when it gets uh, really rough and tough and all that stuff, that it's probably gonna drop to 45, which I'm okay with. If it starts at 45, it's gonna drop to 30 or 25, which I don't want. Dodge, parry, spin. No fault. <laughs> they tell you, hey, by the way, you can just jump. Okay, chat. What I've been told by everybody who's been playing this game, who loves it, by the way, is that the beginning is very rough. But it's getting better. Build a support facility. Hold in place and protect the core tower. Here we go. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Huh? Please tell me I can change fire modes. Huh? No what? G. This is the wrong gun. Wait. No, he's shooting one bullet. Reload. Huh? What? Up to five? One. Oh! There's like two modes or something. What's two do? I like a grenade. Okay, whatever it is, it's got a cooldown. Okay. As you progress, you'll unlock new ways to play including on the fly switching command mode to command the outposts and the supply units, piloting cataphracts or engaging personally in combat. Activate 
turrets in command mode. In the deuce? Is this the Matrix? Destroy the drone swarm. Really? You want me to destroy that? Okay, I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing, so... I'm just following instructions. I'm gonna, I guess I'll keep making ammo. Okay, I don't think we're gonna make it. I think this is kind of a prologue of the struggle. Yeah, I don't think I have the guns to beat that. Oh, look! Okay. Is this going to fall on me? That guy is hacking. So other than make... Okay, chat. I think this is it. Yeah, there we go. Yep. Roll credits. <laughs> Link. Connecting to the command interface. Validating now. Five years later. Good afternoon. Seems like a lot of systems are learned. Oh no, you haven't seen anything yet. You haven't seen anything yet. Go, 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 go. I think my Man, that, that little fence, that little fence is doing work. I'm so happy they're not smart enough to go around it. You know what I'm saying? I mean, oh. Man, I hear the last time Levi blew a fuse like that was eight years ago. A few days later. Commander. Build Titan Spike. Do I have to build on the platform or? Oh, there's one there too. Oh, I see. Go in the back. Ah. Everything seems to be up here, so put it here, I guess. Point it that way. I move this. No. I just built the Titan Spike. I have to build two. Good question. Mechanos will mindlessly attack all defensive structures near the outpost. Stake walls not only draw enemy fire, they also damage enemies that come in contact with them. Oh, that one there. Oh dear. Head to Windy Desert and recover the MG turret barrel. My first mission? Are they cutting me loose? Am I free to go on a tour? All right. All right. I'm excited, chat. I'm free to go on a tour. Coming along? Gonna come with? You coming with? You're coming with, aren't you? 
Okay, I'm I'm starting to see it now. I'm starting to see the how the game works from a certain perspective. Like, I think I've been introduced to maybe one of five mechanics. All right, so now this is another mechanic, AKA looter shooter extraction shooter mode. <laughs> Where now I'm out recovering things and gathering things for my stuff. All those long hours of Tarkoving will now come in handy. Scav runs and the like. Something tells me if I run this on a higher setting, it'll run better. It seems like one of those games if you're if I run if I run on a higher setting, it might um, actually run better. So I'm probably gonna do some testing off stream. Heard the beep. Oh. I don't know what just happened. Something jumped on my face and Is that a face hugger. Okay. <laughs> I think we got a problem here because there's only so much loot you can carry and you have to extract it. And every time you extract the loot, you get attacked. So greed is going to be a problem. How do you do recovery? Go in here. Regular recovery. Oh, wait, you can. Forgot about these. Well, now I have stuff from that that I probably should have put in there. Oh, no, I did. Put in all. Oh! I did the wrong thing. Firm. So essentially, the Titan Spike gives you more room to put stuff down. The power base, I guess. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. It's going to be the quickest. Wait, I don't have any ammo? Oh, no. <laughs> Says you. Oh, we got a problem here. Cat, how many times we got to tell you? Uh, I don't have any ammo. I have no. I have no ammo. <laughs> Leave my base alone. This is my house. What are you guys doing here? This is mean. I don't like you. Go away. Oh, my beautiful base. Oh, my beautiful base. Oh, oh, my beautiful base. Oh, my beautiful base. Get off my property. Get off of my property. Uh -uh, you missed. Can't hit what you can't see. Can't hit what you can't see. Can't hit what you can't see. Uh, all right, we need we need stuff. We need things. <laughs> well, I learned. Um, I feel like I did not properly prepare my defenses based on what they told me in the tutorial. That's okay. You learn from this, and you build better next time. How it goes, right? Tour complete. We got the MG gun thing, right? Yeah, we did. We got it. We got it. First step of 400. You have just 